Today is uh, day three, May 14th, Saturday. Um, we're currently 170 miles south of San Francisco and 100 miles offshore, roughly. And we are beating into a southwesterly breeze of about 10 knots. It's st just starting to pick up a little bit. Um, the wind dropped off to almost nothing overnight and uh, turned around to the south as, as we expected. Um, and the best course we're able to make is southeast in these conditions. I tried uh, tacking over onto the port tack, but uh, on the port tack the best we could do was a little bit north of west. And since we want to go south, more, most importantly we want to go south, because it's warmer the farther south we go, um, we're going southeast. Uh, since the coast of California slopes away to the east, we're not getting any closer to the coast. We're just uh, going farther south. And uh, the wind is predicted to turn back around to the uh, prevailing northerlies in a day or so. And then we'll turn around and uh, be on a beam reach or a broad reach sailing southwest again. Uh, but right now... Um, we are under all plain sail, beating into a southwesterly breeze that is picking up. So the stronger it blows, the closer we can sail into it. That's good. I mean, up to a point. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, last night, our rubber band pilot steered itself, steered the boat um, all night long. And uh, you may have, may have heard that creaking and groaning noise on yesterday's recording driving me crazy coming from somewhere. I, I thought it was uh, gear that was rubbing around in the cockpit locker. So last night I had the uh, midnight to 4 a.m. watch and so during that watch I tried to find the location of that groaning and creaking noise. Went into the engine compartment, uh, went into the locker, moved stuff around, tried to find it. I could feel the vibrations every time it made the noise but I couldn't locate the couldn't locate the source I the way this boat is built it's a uh, fiberglass of course and the cockpit well is molded and it has a uh, the cockpit sole is a rectangle piece of fiberglass screwed down and there are plywood bulkheads that separate the cockpit lockers from the engine compartment so eventually I determined that what was going on was the plywood bulkheads we're rubbing against the uh, fiberglass on the starboard side. There was nothing really I could do about it, uh, but I hit upon the idea of trying to lubricate it a little bit and quiet it down, so I squirted some uh, liquid dish soap in there, and lo and behold, it worked. <laughs> no more creaking and groaning. Pretty much stopped right away last night, so that was great. Uh, last night we had, what did we have for supper? Oh, we had macaroni and cheese with uh, tuna, canned tuna, and um, uh, some uh, fresh Roma tomatoes. That was really good, nice hot meal last night. And this morning we had oatmeal with pine nuts, bananas, and raisins, and a little maple syrup to sweeten it up. So, following the tradition of the sloop Lealea, we eat well. And, and we had some we had some cookies for dessert too, right? And Captain Chuck is not seasick. Woohoo! <laughs> well, he's taking drugs, that's why. <laughs> Captain Chuck's on drugs. <laughs> Dramamine. Wow, man. <laughs> it's really cool. So anyway, that's where we are. Um, we didn't make as much progress as we would like to have made yesterday because the wind died off to almost nothing. And today, we're not going in exactly the right direction, but we are, you know, making southing. At least there's that. Um, so, we're, it's the early part of the trip. We'll just wait and see how it goes. But we're already a little behind schedule on our third day.